Well, oh, hello people, and welcome back to part 39 of the Build Guide 2. I hope you're having a wonderful day. And thank you all for support last week on Karen. You guys really enjoyed this little town centre build. It came together quite nicely, didn't it? And a few people using it now to get back and forth around the city. A super satisfying little area to come together, so thank you for indeed enjoying it and all the nice comments. And today, we'll see from the title, of course, there's no point teasing it now. It's time to add the crowning jewel onto Orchid Bay's public transport infrastructure at the International Airport. Been eyeing this up and talking about it for a long time since we first saw this island out here that Sid I made with the map. And it's amazing. <laughs> so it's going to be a lot of fun. Uh, let's build an international airport in city skyline, shall we? So the first thing I want to do, and thanks to the wonderful Sid I for including this bus road here, it's almost like he knew that we'd want to turn this into an airport. Because <laughs> this gives us a really straight road guideline uh, to build everything off of. So we're going to get that started with some sea walls. Uh, so I think I'm going to use the simple city key fenceless and again because Sidai is a beautiful human being with great character it's one continual run <laughs> all the way down there. It makes my life so much easier as a vanilla boy. Thank you so much. And then a little curve tool here on that guideline should see us through there. Wonderful. So I'll go ahead and get the whole island keyed and deforested and then we can start placing some stuff. So here we have it, now I have a fully keyed island, also drawn down some dirt roads as road guideline markers to make sure that we're fully aligned with this bus road. It can be really helpful with the airport's DLC stuff, is making sure everyone's snapped to the same angle, it makes sort of hooking everyone in a lot easier, especially without anarchy and move it. So a few of you guys wanted me to maintain the old Mandan factories here, but <laughs> it's, it's not happening. Way too much of a clash with a modern airport terminal, so they will be being removed. And we also don't need this over here now as well, so we can knock that back a little bit and then trim off these guidelines too. Wonderful. So let's come into the airport's DLC, and I think we're going to be playing with the ultra-modern terminal stuff today. So let's go ahead and actually paint out our airport area first. Now, I really don't want this airport area to destroy the terraforming here, because of course it will actually terraform for us. So I want to make sure that we don't encroach upon my key work. So we'll get this painted out too. Cool. So of course, name suggestions as always down in the comments below if you'd like to name Orchid Bay's airport. So we're going to sort of build these things back to front. You remember if we watched our regional airport build, it's always a good idea to put your runway and taxiway configurations down first. So you've got the room for them because they're the biggest things. Uh, so let's go for... So this marker right here of 10 is exactly 250 units which makes it a significantly sized runway definitely international sort of jumbo qualifications here for a runway that long but it does fill a massive chunk of the island which is always nice so i'm appreciative of that very cool and we might even end up changing the configuration of the island today i'm sort of keen to almost just see what we could possibly do with sort of a secondary runway that maybe terraforms off into the ocean. Because I definitely think I want more than one runway here. And we could possibly angle it if we wanted to see what length would this one be. So we could get another 130 unit runway here. Which isn't the worst thing in the world. It would be fun to configure with the taxiways for sure. But I think it just looks a little bit stunted doesn't it next to the other one. So in that case, I think what we will do is actually break the keys here and allow the runway to carry on into the ocean as a runway pier, which are always really fun things to factor into airports. So of course with- oh no, no! <laughs> Terraform the wrong place, go away, there we go. So with terraforming, let's go wider than we need. Um, it'll always be a big help and make sure we're sat at that terrain height that the runway is currently on. And we'll bring this out quite a distance for what we need right now something like that should be good and try to keep those edges nice and smooth as well so then we'll be able to just drop the keys back in without a problem but it's vanilla so there will be a problem with keys <laughs> there always is okay so how's that going to make us look that looks a little bit phallic at the minute doesn't it so let's make it look a little bit longer not that that's going to help with the phallus but it'll at least make it look a little bit nicer hopefully Cool. So that should give us a pretty significant size runway there, doesn't it? And they're heading off, not towards the towers. I'm very interested to see where uh, the planes are going to come and land. <laughs> because, of course, we've been building at the skyline in front of the flight path. So we'll eventually see how that performs. It could be 
horrendously law breaking, but we'll we'll wait and find out, won't we? Cool, so if we hit this guideline here, then we can bring our runway. So where do we want this? Let's actually bring that dirt road over more uh, a little bit so we've got some more guidelines to play with. Uh, let's snap into the grid out here, hopefully. We're also going to need to terraform or push the airport area out, hopefully, without letting it ruin the land. The airport terraforming tool is a little bit weird. It gives horrible bumps to the edge of the land. It makes it a nightmare to work with. Okay, so that right there is 180 units runway, which makes me feel a little bit more confident. And it's also going to give us that dual runway configuration as well, isn't it? Cool, so I will spend the next thousand years now uh, just aligning this terrain <laughs> so we can get those damn keys in. We'll see if it behaves ourselves together. It's, it seems a pretty smooth terraforming job, so it shouldn't be too much of an issue. And if you're on PC, I highly suggest getting key anarchy. It'll make your life a lot easier. Or uh, network anarchy now, I guess, actually. Cool, so let's sort of line that up as best we can. And hopefully snap into the road guideline is going to be our friend. And then we can hit the road guidelines of the runway. Hopefully either side for a nice sensible key line in. There we go, it's actually being well behaved for once. Thank you very much, City Skylines, making my Friday easier. Although well, maybe just we'll go straight connection on that one. I think we will just go for a straight one. We don't need the curve, do we? Cool, yes, and then you can come up to that end guideline as well. And then we'll terraform this out so it all sits nicely and happily with one another. Just look at that. That last piece <laughs> won't connect nearly for the first time ever. We had perfect key terraforming, but we will have to manipulate it a little bit. There we go. <laughs> cool. Okay, so that does give us the aesthetic of a runway pier and dramatically changes the shape of the island, but for the better, I think. Gives it a much more cool sort of civil engineered shape, doesn't it, I guess? Cool. So, trim off any guidelines that we don't need anymore. And that should be perfect for me. So now we've got those configured in, let's go ahead and grab our, uh, what's it called, taxiways. Although now on second thought, I think what I might actually want to do is move this runway over and then actually replace this bus road with the runway is probably what I want to do. So I'm just going to quickly do that. Cool. So now we've got the runway just right up against the quay, which will be nice, nice waterside sort of landing and takeoff for them. Uh, so now let's come back into our taxiways. So again, if you're brand new with airports, I'll cover this. Uh, sort of temporarily. Um, at the bottom of the runway where the arrows start going upwards, this is where you want planes to enter. So we want them to come in this way. And then at the end of the runway, at the end of the arrows, you want them to leave. If you have it facing the other way, they're going to come down here and then immediately take off. It just looks ridiculous. So for all taxiway runway configurations, make sure that they are indeed configured to be sort of this kind of style. Okay. And then I guess we'll bring these guys off. Oh, we do need the airport area as well. It's going to be a little bit of squeaky bum time here, just getting all this sorted. Of, don't want to really murder the island. Otherwise, we'll have to spend a lot of time re terraforming it towards the end of the episode. Come on again, we want to come um, up here. Let's go for. That should be okay, hopefully. And then we can run that down the side, hopefully, without too many issues. Yeah, that seems to be okay. Cool, so we are able to feed both runways, which is very important. So now our main terminal complex, I think, is going to be. All based around here, and we can factor that in now. We have the runways and taxiways uh, configured. Uh, we'll also feed this one down to that one as well, hopefully in one huge straight angle. So we can use this as access down towards the terminals for these taxiways, which is great news. And let's also have one come out for this one as well. And back onto our road guideline for this. And that should hopefully hook in. Usually find if the angle sometimes a bit tight is deleting kind of the first two segments and then going on a straight angle can usually be better for taxiways I think makes the curve seem a little more realistic you can possibly do the same thing here as well but we'll leave it in for right now of course final configurations can always be amended so we also need to plan in a return taxiway for them to get back to the runways which is probably going to be best served here I imagine so we'll run them parallel with each other and then hopefully you will just come straight down here without causing me too many issues. Looks like you will. Something like that. And then spin that around so they can enter this runway down here again too. And that gives us some cool parallel network action for the airport, doesn't it? Cool. Now what we might end up doing is moving the taxiways a few more tiles apart. We'll see what the plane wing clipping is like. Because <laughs> I imagine there's going to be a bit of it. 
Cool, so let's return back to the road networks here. So we've got a big chunga six lane ready to come into the airport, which of course is going to be the primary way in. Uh, but we've also got a monorail here as well. So let's see what's going on with this bridge. We do sink down a little bit, so uh, let's actually start from over here. Do I mind another suspension arch? I feel like it might not be massively appropriate at the foot of the airport. But it is appropriate in the front of the skyline. <laughs> so, oh, I'm a, I'm weak for a suspension arch these days. There's something about them that really just does sort of tickle the infrastructure pickle, you know. Uh, and then monorail as well. Please do come on over. Fabulous. So that was it, right? Wasn't it? We didn't want the metro coming over here. Metro goes to the stadium area. And I don't believe there was an... Yes, there is actually an underground line, isn't there? Although I took that off into the Brooklyn's and Queens area. Which isn't really necessary because there's a dead metro line here. Okay, let's just do some metro reconfiguration. I don't want this metro coming into the transport hub anymore. You will actually go to the airport and then instead, let's remove these lines. The metro won't need to come through here. Let's grab those metro tunnels and then it's come underground and then you will go to this one. Absolutely perfectly, yes please. Uh, and then let's grab this stop here. So this is the one that runs to the stadium and the original transport hub, this line. But we won't send them to the transport hub because the train goes to the transport hub on the above ground line. So uh, they don't really need to do it here. Cool. And then we've got some stops happening there too. And then we can bring this underground metro line into this, the airport, hopefully. So we'll just prepare it to cross the island. Something like that. And then a lot of those airport terminals do have underground metro built in. So we can also use that as well. Fantastic. Awesome. Cool. So let's continue to use dirt road frames here while we align the, the sort of central terminal. Uh, because they're going to be crucial to making sure we're sort of looking cool and on the right angles. So lots of road guideline snappings away from taxiways will help us. Let's have this here as well. Cool. And then this too. So let's have a look which ones we want to use. I think we're going to go with the ultra modern stuff just because it's cool and ultra modern essentially, isn't it? And uh, let's, we definitely want these facing out over the water, huge, well, over Orchid Bay itself, actually, the actual bay, right? So let's go for, bear in mind, we've got to save room for taxis, our plane stands as well, so we don't want to be too close. How would we feel about our position in there? So you see, right, snapping it onto those road guy lines of the runway. I'm going to make sure it's perfectly parallel with them. Big help for airport stuff. Okay, so that gives me the runway. And then if we were to go ahead and place in uh, a temporary plane stand now, of course, lots of jumbo planes here. I don't think we're going to have a cargo airport here. I want to make the cargo airport its own separate build, if possible. Cool. So that does give us enough room to configure taxiway configurations for us. And enough room to play with some terminal stuff too. I'm also guessing because we have the underground metro line, we could also place in an ultra modern concourse here. But we don't really have the room for the plane stands, do we? Unless we moved the second runway out quite a bit. So how would we feel about a sort of separate terminal that's only accessible via the underground metro system? It would mean moving the second runway out a little bit, but it might be worth it. <laughs> it might be worth doing that wall. We'll have to wait and see. Cool, so let's delete these planes here. And I think I'm going to be happy with this positioning anyway. So, should move some frames now. And then let's bring this six lane down. I think as we come back down into the airport island, we will come into a tree-lined road. Although, I'm tempted to curve you off sooner than that because you're going to end up eating into quite a lot of my airport terminal space. So again, we'll align that infrastructure so it sort of makes sense and respects views and sight lines and whatnot. Definitely a great drive to be had as you're coming into the airport here, right? And then let's spin this around. Although some of this is going to become one-way road eventually. Cool. So we have one terminal in. Let's now extend the bottom runway out by 10 units and then we can snap another terminal onto that, maintaining that we're all line to that same axis and we'll grab the concourse there too. Fabulous news. Cool. So the, the body of the airport is starting to grow out a bit now, isn't it? So we really want to start bringing out these concourses here. 
I'm happy with that. And we could possibly squeeze in a third terminal. I don't want the ultra modern large. It's just too big a thing, isn't it? I, I kind of I kind of want to try it. <laughs> I kind of I was, I was in my, in my planning. I was very much averse to this asset just because it's so big and awkward to fit in. But I feel like we might be able to find a spot for it. They are Chungus boys, these ultra modern ones, but they do look very cool. So also we want to make sure we're respecting our plane viewing areas here as well, of course. That thought it's really cool, isn't it? <laughs> just seeing those little low lying terminal buildings lying on the island now. Very cool idea. Uh, all right, okay. So if we grabbed a bit of concourse, let's see what this looks like. We could quite easily hook in and get different airport uh, plane stands hooking around here. The, the, the real problem comes really with factoring in uh, the elevated networks to get down out of the airport again um, in a sort of sensible time frame without them looking too weird. So we can hook everyone in like that. That's going to be happy days indeed. And then hopefully the same process here on that bottom layer. There we go. So we can continue the one-way loop. Massive bonus having those one-way uh, three-lane bus roads now, isn't it? So we can keep the airport roads consistent. Okay, so they definitely have buses here. Of course, because there's a lot of bus infrastructure. So one solution would be to actually factor that into the bridge, which would make us lose the suspension arch, which I think I want to do, because I do like it, but it's... I don't know. I've never been to an airport that has a suspension arch over the entrance before, I don't think. I imagine it'd be quite dangerous. He says as he's building an airport in front of a skyline, but let's... Ignore that fact. <laughs> It'll be fine. And then of course we want a monorail station as well. So we'll feed this into a couple of different terminals. We'll have it stop there. Here would be cool again. And I know it's maybe one too many stops. Let's remove that pillar there too. So we can bring this down on an 80 degrees angle. It would be cool if we could mimic the monorail stop there, wouldn't it? So it's mirrored. It's enormously unnecessary because there's three stops within close proximity, but it's very much a design choice, right? I'm guessing we can't connect on the T-junction here, can we? Monorail won't like it, no. That's okay, though. I think what we will do then in that case is actually split the monorail into a one-way loop. So we'll start using the one-way monorail roads, which isn't something we use that often on the channel, but they are pretty nice assets. They're very thin, ultra-modern looking, just having the single blade. So uh, it can be worth factoring into a build, I think. And then a road guideline curve should see everyone home. Cool. And then same thing here again. Nice curve out the front, which is going to centralise that pillar, which gives us lots of nice detail and opportunities out here, doesn't it? I think it does. Uh, and then with the actual starting monorail, you will follow the curvature of the road. So we'll bring you up to the same road guideline point. It's a lot of fun design these international airports. Lots of grand infrastructure, but they're... Very much sort of fall under the remit of builds that can get ugly very quickly if we don't take care with them. Cool. Apologies if you heard the coca shake. Yeah, I just woke up from a nap. Okay, and then let's come into a grid snap no guideline and then we'll feed this one way monorail network up with the road now as well. Up to. Looks like it's going to be perfect for me. Fantastic. And then, of course, this will now be the one-way loop. So this road here can actually go down into a six-lane one-way road. And I think we'll stick with the trees just for decoration purposes. Let's have them come down here. And thankfully, it is six-lane and we're splitting down into two separate three lanes. So that's going to be quite handy. Uh, and we want to make sure we're not snapping to grid here. If you snap to grid too close to a key, it can do some really weird snapping. So you want to try and avoid it if you can. Uh, let's actually make sure we hit the road guideline of the key as well, because it will be a lot easier to follow the curvature of it. Let's hit those guidelines here, and then we will draw those other lanes out for this one to hook into now. Something like that is more what I'm envisioning, so it's a little bit more elegant, not quite as tight. And tree of the day is the silver birch, isn't it? We haven't really had a silver birch near an airport before, so I think we'll go for that. Cool. Is it all right? Should make the monorail look pretty cool with the silver birch next to it, actually. It's not encroaching upon the monorail line either. Cool. So I think I'm happy with that as the general terminal configuration. I really don't hate it at all, especially with the one-way monorail line in there as well. 
Uh, that's going to be pretty cool. And then in terms of how this actually hooks in, that is the next challenge, isn't it? So I'm thinking if we could come on a big curve here would be wonderful. Something like that, really. And then we can downgrade this section into one way. And then we know that this one now needs to leave on its own trajectory to meet up with this one over here. Something like that, hopefully. Fabulous news. And change our directions as well. Cool. So that is the one-way monorail line completed. Uh, I'd actually love to have that flowing now. So let's go ahead and grab it. Where do you actually come from? You're in the station, aren't you? Yes, you go down to the terminal, don't you, of course? Down to the uh, ferry terminal, which I haven't actually dropped the station in here, you idiot egg. Uh, and then we'll do the same thing here again as well. Let's add those stops back in. And then into the transport hub here, if I can find that monorail line. <laughs> it's just getting very confusing now. Lots of different lines everywhere. Yeah, there we go. So stop here. Then stop at this one. And then this one again as well. So that gives us the configuration for the monorails. Now there's just the fact of this top tier road that needs to be built into the network. So I'm happy for it to come off and around here. And how awkward would you be to connect into a bridge? You will run parallel for a little bit, which is somewhat helpful. Although I think I'd actually rather establish the road first as a bridge against the concourse guideline. Okay, so we can get it to fit. Um, but I think with that in mind, we'll sort of redraw the rest of that bridge in so it looks a little bit nicer and curves with that new curved network it now has hooking into it. So we'll keep this slightly elevated with the monorail, which will actually be quite cool as well. Now I'm seeing it in design. We can curve down into there, and then that should give that bus road an excuse to hook back in and leave the airport facility. I'm much happier with that, I think. And now we can see those monorails <laughs> going through the silver birch trees. So, well, maybe downgrade that section into without silver birch, maybe. Very cool, right? Our first activity around the airport. I think we'll go for 240 because this monorail line is now hitting several key transport hubs. So we'll have the higher capacity one. I think it's going to need it eventually. Awesome. Cool. So we've now got our areas configured as how we want. So let's get some plane stands down and then we can turn our attention towards whether or not we want another terminal over this way accessible only via Metro. Which, the more I say that, the cooler it sounds, so <laughs> I think we might we probably end up doing it. Yeah, so large aircraft stands are pretty big chunguses, but it's an international airport, so I definitely want um, a few of them in here. Uh, let's see where we can have you boys. Let's go for... Should make it easier to align our little taxi stands here, I think. Cool. You're going to be slightly off, aren't you? You are. <laughs> what a nightmare. That's okay, though. Cool. so we can feed these in and then you will go back into that way and of course we now have airport aprons which makes detailing airports so much bloody easier yes please everyone look at that god <laughs> how long has that been missing from the game cool so we actually have quite a few planes waiting already of course taxiway configurations are going to change here but um, we do have one completed and active runway, so I want to see what the flight path is like. So where are you going to take off to? Okay, they take off totally away from the skyline. They're leaving the total opposite direction, which is good. The moment of truth is going to be a plane landing, isn't it? <laughs> which is going to be an interesting one. We'll have to wait and for a plane to come in. But really happy with the aesthetic of these planes moving around on the little airport island now. That's very fun. I do like that. Has to be said. Okay, so now the more I'm looking at it, the more I think I want to slightly reconfigure this second runway. I think I want it on the same angle as the original one. And then we can use that extra space that we'll gain to develop a perhaps medium aircraft stand terminal um, around this solo concourse out here on its own. And then it does have the metro terminal, doesn't it? Yeah, so we can hook it in with metro. Uh, it should be quite cool to have an isolated terminal that's only accessible via the airport's underground metro line. Well, speaking of underground metro, um, yeah, this one has it here. We could quite easily get one in, especially with Japanese metro stations, because we've got these single 
single tile one. Yeah, I could have another metro stop down here on these terminals. Which might be too good to refuse. There's the new monorail lines. Very cool. Can we change the colour though? Don't we like the the red tinge? How about uh, something a bit more interesting? Let's go for... That's a very modern aesthetic, isn't it? Monorail pairs so nice with ultra-modern stuff. Uh, yeah, but anyway, let's turn our attention now toward this area over here because I would definitely want this to look pretty cool. I'm happy with this entrance to the airport. Uh, let's reconfigure this runway and then have a little talk about this isolated terminal. Okay, so we finally got the re runway reconfigured and it's kind of framed this little inner pool or bay that was in the island and sort of turned into like a water feature for the airport. So I'm pretty happy with that, has to be said. Uh, the water level will restabilize, of course, once it's happy with its terraforming. But the runway is now back in at a more appropriate angle. So now let's return to the wonderful world of taxiway configuration. Uh, I think we can go for 10 units here, can't we? We've got the room uh, against the airport there. So we'll complete that first loop. Let's have it go into there. And then I've also deleted this one now as well. Uh, so we can slightly uh, reconfigure this one uh, with the slope too steep. Pretty sure about that. I wonder if that's a terraforming issue, you know, because it's so close to the edge. So now we'll reconfigure this taxiway to hopefully run there, which it will. Fantastic news. And then hopefully I can run its parallel network down this way with it. So we'll run it up to the other end. And of course, this has to be facing the other way. So we'll reverse that as well. Cool. And then we want to create a entrance for these guys here. Hopefully going to connect in perfectly that way. Which you are, but again, I kind of do like the angled taxiways, so I might actually bring that off on the 129 degrees snap instead rather than the 90 degrees. It makes it look a little bit cooler, doesn't it? Cool, so we've got that in now. Let's tidy up that little bit of nastiness there against the key. There we go. Fabulous. Cool, so that's definitely one uh, runway totally configured now, but I certainly want access for uh, these planes that land on this runway to get over to this terminal as well if they want to. Uh, but we definitely want to arrange the ultra modern concourse too um, in the middle. Wonder, can we? We won't be able to snap this to a metro tunnel, will we? I don't think we will. No. But it does sort of help us align it anyway. Something like that, I reckon, should be good. And then we'll make sure that we do actually factor in uh, that metro tunnel. There we go. And then you will go straight in. Yes, you will. Now bring this one out. So. I don't know, the more I think about it, I think like this second metro station here is really public transport overkill. We've already got the monorail there too. Uh, so we'll feed this under the island and then just curve off toward that connection over there so we can have that metro run. And then we'll get that running as well now while we're here because you do need to come uh, over the other side of the bay. Let's curve off slightly sooner than you already are. Let's take that over toward... That's a straight connection, actually. We probably can't get that in a straight connection. Happy days, indeed. Uh, and then there should be a metro line here, or metro platform. So we'll run you through to here, down to the airport, and to the second terminal. Uh, stop again back at the first terminal, and then come back into the transport hub in the downtown. So we've now got metro... And monorail serving the international airport. Look how busy this hub is, man. <laughs> it's so good. Oh, I absolutely love this transport hub. It's just become the busiest, best thing ever. 2,000 in a week already. And that's not even with airport traffic going through it. So we'll see. But yes, metro and monorail and eventually buses all serving at this main hub. So we'll see what goes on with it. But do you have people now driving in and out of the airport as well, wherever you come from? You are a director at the large aircraft stand. Okay, that's fine. So, back to airports. Big project, this. <laughs> You'll have to excuse me if today's video is a bit erratic. They're always uh, interesting beasts to stitch together, these airport builds. Uh, cool. So, let's start aligning some medium aircraft stands off of this isolated terminal. And I want to essentially mirror them either side. So, we'll place two either side there. And then I want to come back up to this one and place it in basically as close as I can get it to the one below and then repeat that same thing again on that side and then hopefully we can do it here as well so that way it's going to be pretty much mirrored which will be cool it's going to give us that sort of little building there in the middle as well isn't it you could also draw 
some concourse off of this as well if you wanted to make it a little bit more impressive uh, and then we will just use a curve tool to hook all of those taxiways into the stands and then once we've got that done we can uh, feed them into other uh, taxiway systems such as one there and then this one here I want to have what angle was that can we can we see that again let's just redraw that actually I want to try get it as symmetrical as it can it's 124 degrees we can mimic that we're just going to have to let that one take the priority 124 there it is then we'll redraw the bottom one fabulous yes and then enter off into that loop there that's absolutely perfect um, I guess we could also bring this one down here as well if we wanted to. We still haven't seen a plane land yet, which is interesting. I'm also interested to see how they take off heading this way. I'm really hoping they turn off to the left. <laughs> Otherwise, the comments are going to be on fire in this one, aren't they? They really are. Uh, okay, so with this one here, how do we actually want to configure this in now? Okay, so I think we'll hook this system into this taxiway here, but the angle is not with us, so we're going to have to manually adjust it again I'm going to go for 124 degrees so that all these little angles here are perfectly mimicked and then 123 125 come on city skylines <laughs> that's the angle the one that I don't need yeah it's gonna to have to be 123 isn't it it's not having it any other way that's fine though cool so we'll hook that in bring that into there as well and we'll make sure that these are configured in the right directions you need to go down there so you can access those terminals and again, that does provide connection for these planes landing on this runway to get to the other stands. But I think I also want to run uh, that connection as well. There, basically, let's maybe bring it up to this one here. We'll remove these connections so we can hit the guideline and then we'll snap everyone in. It can be a little bit weird sometimes the taxiways. You just need to sort of delete and redraw them again. And then we'll also bring that off on an angle as well so it's not that 90 degree snap. And we'll probably do the same here as well. Uh, we'll mimic that angle again just because it's satisfying. That's a what? 55 degrees. See if we can get that over here again as well. Something like that. Yeah, it's nice and mirrored there now, isn't it? Around the bay. I'm even tempted to push this one out a little bit further, but we'll we'll see what happens with it. Uh, cool. So, oh, here we go. Here's the moment of truth, everyone. There's a couple of medium planes about to, about to leave. Please turn. Please turn. Don't go into the skyline. Yes. They go off well right. Yes, please. <laughs> yes, please. There you go, aviation gang. You cannot come after me now. They're going nowhere near the skyline, right? It's fine. <laughs> it's absolutely fine. Do they always go off to the right? I'm guessing they do. A flight path must be over there. Oh, well, it's fine. It's cool. It's coming together, though, isn't it? We're already getting that chunky airport infrastructure now. Uh, so I think I want to come across this way by 240. Do the same there again as well, and that should see us through. And then that then allows these aircrafts here to loop a back round to take this airport stand here. And I think now we've done that, it's also going to be a wise idea to hook this side in as well. So we complete that full loop around this little isolated terminal. Something like that. And of course, airport aprons. Goodness gracious, everyone. Never not going to be excited about these. <laughs> we can... Fill enormous swaths of concrete space with airport uh, aprons now. Look at that. How much better is that, everyone? Seriously. So good. Fabulous. Cool. So I'm happy with the isolated terminal here. Could also do another one, but I don't really want to start, start overkilling it. Um, might look a little bit too much, that I think. I want to save room for some hangars and whatnot. Other little bits of airport detailing. So there are some current missing connections. Currently that these... Jumbo jets cannot make it to the smaller runway, but I guess that's okay As they would need the longer runway anyway, sort of the international grade one So I think I'm gonna be happy with that. Can we squeeze one more large aircraft stand in here? Really hoping we can I'll try to get as many people through this airport as possible. Yes, we can So we'll do that and actually remove that connection and then allow this one to be the entrance into them. So let's go for that one there. And then spin them around. And then that is full connectivity for these guys over here too. Awesome. So we now have a fully configured airport. It does take a while to get there. <laughs> they can be difficult beasts, these builds, when they want to be. But uh, otherwise, it's a pretty chungus airport. 
Uh, of course, we want car parking, which is now much easily attainable in vanilla. Let's see if we can work with some car parking over in these spaces here. Um, I definitely want to still be aligned toward these road networks though, so we'll make sure we're creating lots of 90 degree angle frames. Uh, and then let's see what parking would possibly look like over here. Let's move that road back just a touch, a couple of tiles should do it I think. So we have a multi-story up this way. Definitely want lots of ground parking as well, if possible. That's okay, I just want to move the monorail system out of the way with first. Uh, I want to see if we can get some decent car parking patterns in here in this little corner of the airport. So we'll go for two of these numbers back to back. Lots of nice wide ground parking. And it looks like there's another little spot there, isn't there, for another multi-story. And then the one-way network can start from there. And then we'll cut this back just a little bit. Sorry, there's a lot of redrawing of networks today, but these things can be awkward. And then we definitely want to downgrade this road here into the six lane one way with just grass, I think. So we don't have the silver birches clipping the monorail line. They can start just on the waterfront, I think. Fabulous. And then obviously let's do that one as well. Cool. So the monorail will return to its line. And that gives us some decent car parking spaces here. I think some trees and a bit of path work around this to help blend it in would go well. Because I find those car parts can end a little bit abruptly sometimes. So why don't we grab some grid snapping pathways. And then again we'll just come onto our angle snap while we're near a key. Because remember it doesn't like it. Could also do this as part life pathway. Feels a little bit more space out doesn't it. But we will draw them out with vanilla path first I think. Cool, so this jumbo here just landed on the smaller runway, so they are actually making use of both terminal spaces, which is nice. Just the only connection that isn't possible here is for the jumbos to take off from the short runway, but they can land there technically. But the airport is configured, it took a long time to get there. <laughs> it's, uh, I think I might want to tidy up this corner here as well, it's a little bit awkward there, isn't it? I think I want that straight angle to continue with the key, we'll probably terraform that out. But this does feel like a good place for a detail in time lapse. We're going to place in some assets here. There is one thing I want to check actually before we do that. Um, is the possibility of including a small hotel uh, as part of the airport. How do these sort of look over here? Obviously not here, but... Uh, nah, I think I need the bigger ones, don't I? The boat hotel would have been decent down here actually, you know. Maybe we can come back and add that when we do unlock it. The City Hotel would have probably been a decent shout as well, but we're quite a ways off 5,000 weekly profit. So maybe we'll come back and add that hotel in. I think for right now in today's build, we'll probably just stick with airport hotels, I imagine. Yeah, maybe find a space for a couple of hotels out here. We will see. Uh, but either way, detail the whole thing up. Uh, more car parking if we can get it in. We'll also detail it up as well. Uh, more key work, lots of airfield work, um, hangars, refueling stations, etc. Parked planes or like classic sort of airport decoration techniques that we've used before. And then generally just tie up this enormous transport space and we'll come back and have a look at some of the numbers that people are actually walking out of the airport here. Where are you boys going? You're walking to the parking? Okay, I guess that's kind of cool, right? They're using the parking like it should be. <laughs> can't really, can't really complain about that. And I think I might change this aesthetic as well to the sort of raw iron one. The people driving and walking out of the airport now, which is very cool. Let's see how they handle this roundabout here. Where are you all going, I wonder? Are you using the couplet system? A couple of people are. Uh, that traffic light does not need to be there. I need to turn that off. But uh, wonderful. They're all driving out the airport and there's no traffic. Lots of public transport serving them as well. But anyway, I'm rambling big time now. <laughs> That's... Uh, Detail the International Airport, and then we'll be right back.
let's have a detailing review, shall we? So we'll start at the opposite end of the airport and make our way down towards the main terminal. Uh, done some airfield detailing here with some classic vanilla pathways, which really add quite a lot to an airfield around the taxiways. Uh, it's a trick I picked up from Imperator, but uh, I'm not sure what the meaning behind it is, but it looks cool. <laughs> so we'll go with it. Uh, then we have some hangars uh, with some planes knocking around the front on big chunks of those airport aprons, which makes creating proper chiseled out actual airfield concrete space much more achievable. Massive quality of life improvement there is. Uh, yes, then some airport refueling over here as well. Well, plane refueling rather than not airport refueling. Uh, got a little concourse here with a air con traffic control tower, of course, looking out over uh, one of the runways. Uh, for this is all configured now and flowing nicely, getting lots of planes coming in and out of the airport, and then another hangar with some part planes and airport refueling knocking around the other side of it, which is really filled out at this chunk of land that we have over here. And I love how we've got this little perfectly square bay into the airport. It's a very interestingly shaped airport, isn't it? Uh, definitely one of the more interesting ones that we've done on the channel, I think. Uh, then we'll come down here into our large aircraft stands. I'd done some rejigging. Um, I'd kind of done a Daenerys and forgot about the airline uh, headquarters building. And I couldn't refuse its positioning here, right? <laughs> it's absolutely made for it. So decided to move some of the parking over to where we had this space, which was actually originally filled with a fire helicopter depot, but ended up removing that entirely. So we now have our parking over here and also some of the parking remains here, but we also have the airport or oh, the airline headquarters building now, so the airport can actually make money. And we have one of our branded planes here. This is the Egg Air, sort of branding. It's pretty cool, a little blue and what's it called pink and blue pattern. It's pretty nice, but there it goes, right? The way it goes. But well, please do uh, get suggestions down for the name of the airport. That still does need to be named. Uh, but then as we approach in, we've got lots of these bush line pathways, which people are actually making use of the walkable keys which might be justification for upgrading this section here into one with fence maybe. And then it comes around here and then back into the entrance. And as we come into this space here, we've got a little bit of bridge action going on and then a one way slip system for people leaving the airport and a bit of a bush and flame tree design in the middle. Uh, just wanted to fill a lot of the green space we had outside the terminals with pathways, which are getting used now as well. Uh, done a little bit of a design here with a couple of statues and then fed it under the monorail system uh, into some of the new parks. So we've got a couple of cafes and sort of general seating waiting area uh, outside on the waterfront indeed. If you want to sort of chill out here while you're waiting for your flight, of course, you don't need to go into the terminal yet. You can enjoy a fantastic view of downtown Orchid Bay from here. Uh, those big cruise liners leaving just across the bay too. It's getting very transport heavy, isn't it? <laughs> it's very cool. Uh, and then this pathway just snakes off down here. Uh, there are a couple of people using this actually because uh, it's hooked into roads and monorail uh, down here and there's a couple of people actually choosing to walk um, on the top level of the terminal building as well which is cool I guess they could always head back the other way but uh, you know if you want to walk then of course you can uh, and then that just completes the one-way loop as the main sort of terminal building uh, fits in it's a really super awkward space to work with and did need some terraforming to get it there and we will enjoy of course the nighttime perspective because it is an airport, one of the coolest things at nighttime. And I hope we can enjoy uh, Orchid Bay's big international airport island at the foot of the city here right now. Let's get everything into view. What a great view. <laughs> Tremendously happy uh, with how our international airport on an island has turned out. But otherwise, guys, that is going to do it for today. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching. If you've enjoyed, likes, comments, and shares below, do go a long way to help grow the channel. Thank you so much if you haven't enjoyed it. Please feel free to leave me a dislike as well. Tricky build, this one, with the space. I didn't want to take too much shape out of the island, and we've got some really interesting airport configurations here and two functional international airport runways as well. With a lot of detail in out front, I always find in vanilla the front of terminals can be relatively hard to decorate, but I don't think we've done a too bad job of it here. The addition of car parking into the game now certainly makes filling out those front terminals uh, a lot easier, I think. Please do enjoy your cinematics. I'm sure the final nighttime shot up to that skyline will be pretty special, but otherwise I'll shut up and leave it there. I'd like to thank you all so much for watching, and as always, enjoy the rest of your day.